Ladies and gents, here we go. It is time to do this. Your host, Sinistrain 01, and we are going to finish up Metal Gear Solid 2. Hopefully you're enjoying this. This has been such a great game. I've had such a blast. We're going to try to do this. Have fun. Hopefully we won't die. I don't really have much to say is, um, you know, like I said, with all these boss battles, I'm not really that good at them. I just try to do what I can and not to die. I think that's always the goal in a boss battle. You can see they're not that hard to do. You just gotta kind of maneuver. Try not to fall off. Of course, I'm on fire, but that's okay. I like being on fire. Alright, we're getting him down. We are done. You can see we can use this move kind of over and over again. Just for the first half of the battle. Doesn't always work. And we're at the final part of the battle now. Oh, he's coming right at me too. Hopefully it'll keep the LB pressed. Because I hit that button. Right. You have to be solid. This is your last duel. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. Nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the cocaine used by the U.S. Army Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Y-02, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a fighter. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was a jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used in the Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game, exactly as you said. And the weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. I can only get two on him. I gotta try to get three. There we go. Alright, now it should be pretty easy from here. Make sure you're at a distance. Some of them are different the way he uses them. Oh, we are so close. We are almost done, ladies and gents. Take one more hit and he is dead. We have completed this game. Oh, we had to ruin that at the end, didn't we? And well, I think we're done now. Come on, one more hit. Give me one more. Oh, yes, you're done. Woo!
knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have that decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Mm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name, and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to.
What's wrong? Nothing. Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. See me for what I am, okay? I know. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. But genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry. Passion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears only. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Snake! You there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh... About a hundred years ago. What the hell?
All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. All right, let's check out. So total playtime, 8 hours and 44 minutes. We saved quite a bit. Of course, I saved after every boss fight and before every boss fight as well. So I did a lot of saving. You guys knew I was going to be doing that. Zero continues alert mode three times, but that is the mandatory alert mode. So we actually were never caught or never alerted or anything like that. Um, it says we killed three people, but I don't ever remember killing anyone. And I think you guys can attest to that too, unless it counts... Um, the boss battles that we did, I guess it maybe it maybe it counts Fat Man as a kill as well as uh, Solidus in the end, and I'm not sure who the other one there because we know Vamp didn't die, but um, you guys know I didn't kill anyone. Uh, as far as rations goes, we only used three, and those three rations were only used on the Metal Gear Ray battle, I believe it was, because. Uh, it's just so tedious and long and I didn't want to sit there and try it a billion different times just to be able to do it without taking any damage since this wasn't the kind of walkthrough that uh, a big boss emblem walkthrough or not. So I'm not sure if there's any other screens after this, so let's find out. I thought there was maybe a code or something. There we go. Flying Fox. Let's see what this is. Beat the tanker and plant chapter on any difficult defeat Solidius. So it looks like that's all we got. I'm not sure what else there is. <laughs> you get caught by Otacon stimulating yourself. Alright, so we still got all kinds of other stuff that we can do for this game. So... Yeah, everything else is, is for Metal Gear Solid 3, of course. Um... Gosh, I didn't kill anyone. I don't know why. Maybe that was for Metal... I don't know. Well, either way, we did a really good job. I'll take the code name Flying Fox. So we're like kind of like gray. We're a flying version of Gray Fox. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be it, obviously, for Metal Gear Solid 2 Complete Stealth Walkthrough, which is exactly what we did. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed. Um, next up, we've got Metal Gear Solid 4, of course. And I will also, if I can get enough likes and stuff like that, maybe we'll continue and do some VR missions as well in the future. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'm not sure when the Metal Gear Solid 4 is going to be coming out since we will be doing uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist coming up and a few new games are on its way. Of course, I want to finish up Splinter Cell Double Agent for the regular Xbox um, and I will be doing that next week um, if you're watching this video when it came out. So again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on our next video. Peace out, bitches.